Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the isDate function inside of SQL Server, and I want to use it as a filter. So here's the situation. We have a table uh, that has employee birthdays, but they're stored as text instead of as a date. And you can see when you do that, you get all kinds of interesting things. You got a one, two, three here that, that's not a date, and then you have one that's just stored without the slashes. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to use the isDate function and I want to put that in there and see what is actually a date. So they're all dates except for this row number two. So what I want to do first is I want to filter out that date. So I'm going to put a where clause is date and imp underscore birthday. And I want to say where that equals one. So if it actually converts to a date, it's going to equal one. So this will get rid of that record number two. Okay, so we filtered that down. Now, I want to only get the birthdays before the year um, 2006. And so what I want to do is I want to say and cast, I need to turn it into a date, and I need to turn the imp underscore birthday. As date, and I need it to be less than um, one slash one slash 2006. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Well, we've got a conversion problem. And if we go look here, we got one record and then the second record didn't convert. Well, what happened there? Well, in order to show you that, let me go ahead and go back to our original query. And let's take this one row at a time. So the first row, it says, is that a date? And is it equal to one? Basically, is the is date function equal to one? Is it a date? It does, and then it tries to cast it. And since it's a date, it casts just fine. Now we get to the second row, and it says, is date employee birthday? And we know that equals zero. And so that doesn't work, right? But then it goes ahead and tries to cast it again. So it goes ahead and tries to cast this as a date, and it dies. And so what we need to do is we need to tell it we don't want to cast that date. So a little trick to do that is to actually use a case statement. So let me zoom out just a little bit here and start the case statement. So a case statement basically looks like this. You say when and then you have a condition, then you, and then you tell it what to do, and then else you have a condition, and then you have an end. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to say when, and we want to say is date. So we want to find all the ones that are not dates, so we're going to put a zero there. So when it's not a date, then we actually want to cast just a null as a date. We don't want to try to cast the one, two, three, because that'll be a problem. And we just put a null in there. But, and then else, we actually want to cast the birth date. And then there's the end statement. And the result of that case statement, we want to compare to this 2006 date. So let's run that whole thing and see what we get. And so we filter down to just the three records. We don't get our error anymore.